Hi again, I'm Julie from Shenandoah Shabby, and um, I'm gonna do my next video in my series of painting a dresser with Annie Sloan chalk paint. Um, I have so far um, talked to you about how I prep a piece using shellac um, to prevent tannins to, to bleed through. Um, I've shown you how I have um, done the surface of this, um, the top of this dresser in any Sloan graphite, um, and also how I clear wax the top of this. I have now gone ahead and put three coats of shellac on this um, that might be excessive, um, but I really hate when I get bleed through. Two coats is usually fine, um, but, but the shellac is finished. Um, I have sanded it down lightly after the shellac with the 220 grit sandpaper and cleaned all of that, um, that dust off. And so the bottom of this dresser is gonna be done in pure white. And I thought I would show you how, um, just one side here, uh, painting with pure white. Um, I have my paint already in here. And um, as I showed you when I was doing the graphite, I always water it down a little bit for the first coat. Um, I just feel like the, the consistency is so thick um, for any slow paints that it needs just a little bit of water. The second coat, I would water it down even more. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I always keep a, a water bottle, a spray bottle on hand. Um, and I'm going to use my Annie Sloan um, paintbrush, the small one, and then, then I just have a, another small brush for um, doing, getting some detail work or around the edges. Um, as you can see, I've taped off underneath here so I don't get any of the paints on the graphite that's already finished. I also around back I have um, I, I, I will paint there's like a half an inch where this wood is exposed and um, is stained you know this color so I'll go ahead and paint that but I put tape there to give it a nice straight edge back there as well. Um, I always think it's nice if the, the backs of your pieces you know, have nice straight lines wherever you stop painting. If I were to stop right here, I would put the, the tape right along the edge. Um, so here we go. And for this first coat, I like to just make sure I get, um, good coverage with the paint. With pure white, um, you know, whites are tough sometimes. You have to do typically more coats on them. I'll, I'll probably end up doing three coats of white on this. We'll see after two what it's looking like. Um, but usually that's, how, you know, the number of coats that you'll have to do when doing white. It also depends on what, what is underneath. And this piece will be a little bit distressed in the end, but I'm not going for like a super, super rustic look, so. Um, my, my paint strokes will, will be all, you know, with the, with the wood grain on this one. I always want to watch out for for drip marks and that sort of um, I don't know marks on the edges of, of pieces to make sure it doesn't look like caked up or have funny marks when you're doing corners and edges. And that kind of stuff you just get better over time.
and you'll see, I mean, at this first coat going on, um, you can definitely see some of the wood coming through still. After the second coat, it's gonna look much, much better. Hope y'all don't mind that my videos are are uh, I don't I don't work in uh, and uh, I don't take the time to to get all dressed up for my videos. Um, I have two young kids and I I work whenever I have time, um, which is not a lot of time. Um, so, <laughs> if I'm going to make any videos right now, it's going to be um, basically whenever I can. And right now, they are asleep, and I have quickly put on my painting clothes to come down here and get this coat on. switch to the small brush um, to do some of this work down at the bottom. Can't quite see that, can you? Sorry about that. There we go. And I, I love the very well made um, YouTube videos with, you know, a beautiful backdrop and, and everybody looks wonderful. Um, but the reality is if I'm going to be making any videos right now, it's going to be when I have a few spare moments. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the dresser, um, the base of the piece and all of the drawers and the pure white. Um, I will probably bring you back when I am waxing um, the, the pure white. If you have any questions, um, you know, please feel free to let me know. If you like um, what you're seeing in these videos, um, please, you know, like, share, um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Etsy, and um, thanks for watching.